Hey guys, this will be uh, part 9 of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Rebuild, Restore, Repair, Refurbish, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is in my shower floor right now, and I just sprayed some totally awesome on that dirt right there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get, uh, I'm not going to film it. I'm going to rinse that off because i got to be real careful not to... Uh, get that wood wet too much because I don't want it I don't want to ruin it I'm gonna wipe that spray that dirt off there all right maybe this is a better way to film it uh, I got a little bit wet and, uh, I'm gonna dry that off with a hair dryer in about two minutes so look at the look at that totally awesome just just tears up dirt Alright guys. Alright guys, so now the uh, frame is all nice and clean and pretty much dry. There's a few spots that still have some water to it, but it's okay. It's not going to hurt it. So, anyways, like I said, got a K7400 I'm going to put in here. And, uh,. That's what's going to run Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. A beautiful K7400. Alright, here is said beautiful K7400. Uh, it's the newer model with the good heat sinks on the uh, well, uh, color transistors on the neck board. Original flyback. Everything's original. Pretty sure all the caps are original as well. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, hey there, Jacob. How you doing? Okay, so uh, anyways, here. That's some nice color to it. Uh, black lights up just a bit too much, a little bit. But that's okay. I noticed the black level changes minutely with the test pattern generator. But this has been running uh, a week. This thing's been sitting on this table running for a week. I haven't shut it off. So it's been sitting here running on this screen. And uh, I say it's pretty good to put in a machine, right? So I'm going to have to take it out of this frame. I'm going to put the tube in the shower, spray it down. Soak all the dirt off of it, and I'm going to wash the chassis, let everything dry, assembled into the new, or the other housing, and, uh, well, it'll be ready to put in the machine. Okay, as promised, guys, got the tube in here in the shower. I've sprayed it down with some totally awesome, and you can just see the shit melting off of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get me some hot water here. Let's go ahead and wash this off. Stinks, man, that stinks. It's pure hot water. Get up underneath that yoke. So I have this sitting face down on the shower floor, but I also have a towel underneath. So the, uh, you know, the tube's not laying on the hard floor. It's got a small soft buffering surface so it's not getting the glass scratched. So I'm just going to rinse this for a while, flush out all the dirt off, you know. The glass tube doesn't matter if it gets wet. The biggest thing is, is this yoke's getting wet right now. So, you know, you don't ever want to put power to it when, uh, it's 
wet. You definitely want to make sure your yoke's dry before you would even attempt to put any uh, power to this at all. So this will probably set a week or two before I even, maybe even longer, maybe a month. It don't have to sit that long, don't get me wrong, but uh, I mean that's probably when I'll be able to get back to it, maybe, I don't know. I would say at least a couple, three days to be safe. You could hair dryer it, you could do it in a couple hours, you know, get it nice and warm with the hair dryer, it's going to evaporate all the water out of it. So I'm just going to let this sit here and kind of drip dry and I'll be back at the chassis. Alright guys, I'm here at the chassis, got it in the sink. Um, I'll tell you where I got this chassis down in Virginia. Um, I went to Virginia to buy high speed pinball machine and I can't remember the guy's name, really nice guy and man I'm telling you. This guy, he uh, he had a deep, deep southern accent. I mean, he wasn't, uh, he was from down there, man. And there's nothing wrong with that, but you don't hear that. I don't hear that very much. It was very distinct, but very nice guy. I bought high speed from him, and I seen him having some monitors, and I asked him what he was doing with them, and he said... Well, I flat screen everything. What what do you want? And I said, what do you give me? And he said, whatever you want. And I said, you see that 7400? Yeah. I was like, I'd like that. And I said, you see that other 7400? I'd like to have that. And then I got a 27 inch 7500 too because that's all I could fit in my vehicle because there was other monitors I would have loved to take but you know pinball machine three monitors I had no more room. But he told me that when he gets some more monitors he will uh, let me know because he just gives them away to somebody that lives in Maryland. And you know he asked me if I sold these for profit, and you know, I don't. I mean, I suppose he wouldn't want to give them away if you know, I'm going to go make some money off of them, but I uh, plugged this in and it fired right up. And uh, what's so cool about it is, I don't know if it's the heat sinks or if this is just a super low hour chassis. But look, look on the back where the uh, color transistors are. There ain't even a, there's not even a discoloration. Now is that due to these heat sinks being different? Or is it really just that low hour of a two, or a frame? Chassis. Let's take a look bottom of the chassis here and look at that it's so clean feel bad even getting it wet Happy. all right guys I can't rinse and hold this here. hold on all right Yeah, there's some dirt in there. Not a whole lot, though. I've seen some nasty fuckers. Damn, that's getting hot. Okay, all these caps, a lot of them are still glued, the ones that are normally glued, so I'm pretty sure this is 100% original chassis.
if there's been any caps to change, they've been cherry picked. Hang on. Wow, that's hot. All right. So that's cleaned up. Okay, so here's 7400 tube. Still looks like there's dirt there, but there ain't. Unless it's really baked on, but it's clean. Still a bit wet. Uh, took the frame off. Um, Here's the other 7400 that old guy gave me. That old southern gent. So, I went down there about the time that I filmed the pinball. Pinballs galore. And I sent him a link to that that I had uploaded. So, if you ever watch my videos, guy, I'm sorry I forget your name. But uh, I told you I would use these. That's going to be for Mortal Kombat. And this one's going to Ninja Turtles. So thank you, man. If you ever hear that, I'm thanking you. Okay, guys. Um, I think there's slight burn in the screen. See it? Right in here. But it still looks good. It's like a... I've seen tubes like this. Where it just looks to me like the entire screen has, has been burnt. But anyways. It is in, the, in its new home. It's new housing. And... Uh, Everything's looking mighty nice. I gotta put the cover back on there and tie these wires up because I had to take the cable tie off because in the frame it was in, the flyback was more in line with the neck board, so the wires were tied shorter. So, you know, but, uh, it's ready to go in the machine. It's gotta dry for a while. So, um, remote board's dangling. There we go. I, uh, sprayed some lubricant in the pots of the remote board. So I think this might be the end of part nine here. I think part ten will sort the jamma harness, power supply, that kind of stuff, maybe. I'll think about it. So. Alright. Like, subscribe. Leave a comment. See you next time. Peace.